be mad. Yeah, my sweetie. There's um there. You can see it. See her, I think, but she's being very cute. Yes, I'm moving the machine under under me because it looks <laughs> it looks pretty bad stuck into my bra. So yeah, it's better so I can show off my boobs, which are great boobs. Week fifteen, I think. I think. Sorry, it's a pretty dress, but it's not a very efficient dress. There's a lot of things going on that I have to take care of. Uh, week 15 was a shitty week. <laughs> um, um, yeah, uh, two bad things happened. So, first of the thing that happened was pretty bad. Uh, was that I put back the old electrode so I bought I took at the pharmacy because I didn't pay for them the old kind of electrodes so now with the story is that up until up until March so November, December, January, February I think my pharmacy was going through an old stock which was great because that meant that it was not wasted whatever and in for March they started ordering new ones so outside the packaging didn't change at all but I reacted like that and it's, it's pretty bad I mean, I tried to put it somewhere else, like, maybe it was an infection, but no, it's... I directed everywhere I put that. So I think they put corticoids on it, and I'm allergic to corticoids, which are some, because they're supposed to be the one who lowers my... <laughs> my my allergy reaction whenever I have one, which is... it's great. It's great. Um, so yeah, that that happens, and uh, I took some some more, and um, and I reacted it again. So that proves that it was not an infection. In fact, it was indeed an allergic reaction. So yeah, 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 yeah. So now the options that I have are the ones that I'm allergic to, which frankly are not an option at all. Or some crappy ones that I'm using right now, like a ten bucks the bag, and that are pain in my ass, and that I don't like. They're not super efficient, and frankly, the machine is still a pain in my ass. Still six months in, I still have to keep it seven hours on every day, and I can't miss a day. And yeah, I'm supposed to be floated by underfins right now but they're not and I'm, I'm not it's a little better when I put the machine on every morning but it's still not fucking your mana so yeah there's that and yeah I don't know I don't know what to do I really don't like the machine yes it does help with the pain but so does the cane and the cane even if it's the brother, it's still a lot less pain in the ass. The, the cane is only there when I actually walk, and I am in pain even if I don't walk. The machine is kinda good for that, but do I have do I really want to make that kind of sacrifice for it? I mean, it's a lot of bother, it's a lot of tracking stuff. Uh, I have to track the machine, I have to track the sessions, I have to track. The battery of the thing, I have to track everywhere I put the damn thing. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of mental space that I wish could be used differently. <laughs> I don't know if replacing the pain men that take the mental space by a machine that takes more mental space 
is that better? Um, oh, she's snoring. I love her. And it's a lot of work. And now, if I am going on the twenty sixth, and if I'm going, I'm going to get a prescription. And this time, I'm gonna have to buy the machine, which is two hundred fifty grands, not grands, uh, bucks. 250 euros which I don't want to spend on a machine that frankly I don't like all that much and then spend 20 bucks on electrodes every month I don't want to uh, I don't think it's worth it I mean it does help but is it worth it? I don't know I'm not sure so yeah we're there for now it's not great. So that was one of the things that didn't go well. I had a tiny big breakdown, meltdown, and um, I spent hours in my bed eating candy, listening to emo music, uh, because that's just a good way of coping, I suppose. And, um, yeah, I did that and I cried myself to sleep because I was talking to a friend who is a great friend who listened to me for, for all my ranting and I love her and she's, she's perfect, I love her um, and I, I, was, I was crying even as I was typing to her and um, eventually I just cried myself to sleep so that was, that was a great day and then I woke up the next morning for um, to a message to my forum administrator. So it's a forum about a series of book, my favorite series of book from when I was a teenager that I read when I was a teenager. It's a lot misogynist, but fantasy often is. So doesn't excuse it, but I'm not expecting anything either, anything more. So there's that. It's still a 32 tomes uh, book series that is freaking awesome and well crafted and awesome and, and perfect and I love it and, and the message was about them turning it into a TV show. So yeah. The moment I joined that forum when I was maybe 40? I knew that the last time wasn't out then. I knew that my biggest nightmare would be to see this one turn into a TV show. And it's happening now. And, and like, the administrator is like, I don't know if it's fake or not, but it's like super enthusiastic about it and he interviewed the, the writer about it and uh, yeah I guess it's a good news <laughs> it's not pretty sure the main character is gonna be cast as Timothy Kedemet so yeah it's they're gonna ruin my favorite series of books so the one good thing is that if they are not yet planning to make another movie out of the spook of princes taking taking what we can there and yeah they did they did try to make a, a movie but it's like it's like the Aragon movie uh, it did flop because it was not good <laughs> it was not at all respecting the the original book it was not at all respecting the mood and the the aesthetic of it that made it a great book great series so yeah i'm taking that as a win personally <laughs> it's it was still tough and starting the day like that right after crying myself to sleep i was like okay i'm going back to sleep <laughs> it was awful so yeah maybe it doesn't look like much but it was my first fandom the thing the first thing i was so excited and passionate about that I actually joined a fandom for it, which I didn't know existed, I didn't know what fandoms were, I just knew I love the books and I wanted to know more, so I searched everywhere and I stumbled about the forum and 
I made friends there and I love them and I met them and in real life <laughs> they're destroying one of the things that I held dearest in my life and they're gonna make it another Game of Thrones and uh, yeah great hooray <laughs> because it's just misogynistic enough to become the next Game of Thrones if written accordingly by the show writers and um, it has just like Game of Thrones, just like Supernatural, just like several others and the Avengers too, the MCU um, it has an ending that completely destroy the character's development which is great it's so great I was pretty mad at the end, <laughs> at the ending. I didn't like it, and um, I was gonna make peace with that eventually. Because I'm a big boy, and I would have eventually made peace with it. Um, somehow. Somewhere. Someone. I love again. Sorry. So, I, I would have made peace with it. I kinda did. I'm still a little bitter about it, but I would have made peace with it. But now they're gonna flaunt it for everyone to know, and and if we're gonna be gonna Game of Thrones, and people are gonna like it for all the bad reasons, and and they're not gonna care about the books at first. They're just gonna care about the special effects and and not the details and the character's backstory and development and everything that makes them so special and so interesting and they're gonna destroy my favorite books <laughs> it wasn't that it was that and I did not handle it very well so yesterday was a tough day <laughs> but yeah I wish I could say I handled it better, but I really did not. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, I still managed to do stuff. I still did. Sorry, I'm struggling with direct eye contact today. Uh, I managed to do archery twice. So first on Saturday, I did like four hours. I was on a, I was on the mood, so I did like four hours straight. I felt amazing. And on Wednesday, on the day that I tried the new electrodes. So I did the archery, I realized that the electrodes were itching me, so they were reacting to my skin. While well, my skin was reacting to them, so I can I kind of stopped doing stuff. I also cleaned my car, because I wanted it clean, because I wanted to take it to the car repair, and it was very dirty and I was ashamed. I did some laundry, I did the dishes, I washed the dishes. The next day I gardened, which was awesome. I planted so many things and I made some yogurt and I wanted to paint and I did not. On Monday I went to the pharmacy to get the new electrodes. I went to buy gas, which I did not, or shouldn't have think because uh, it was closed. No, they, they were not closed, they were out of it. And I went to the car repair and I did repair. Luckily, uh, the next day, the, the same day, uh, it took maybe two hour stops, all in all, and uh, only for 50 bucks, which is really good. And on Tuesday, I went to the library and I wrote an entire fic of 2,600 words which had been very popular, which I'm very happy about. So on Wednesday, 
I did the rock and the erotic shots. On Thursday, I woke up to the show announcement, which I still managed to pay my electricity bill and water my plants. I wanted to fix all of my administrative problems right now, but they're not helping. The common health system, um, their website is not working, so I can't renew my contract with them. Uh, the insurance that I want to contact to, because they owe me 150 bucks, uh, they are not insuring. And it's like it's like it's a call center, so I'm holding, I'm holding, and about ten minutes in, them they're seeing me. Everybody is taken. Uh, please uh, call back later. So I wish stayed ten minutes for nothing, which was great. So there's that and that. Two problems that I want to fix but I can't. And today I uh, I I had a short night, a difficult night because. I got to bed around 6 a.m. and then I had my landlord come and make people visit. So why? Why? It's because um, apparently his parents, which are the actual owners of the whole building, uh, are planning to sell, which is a pain in my ass. So I ask if I got a risk of getting thrown out in the streets if there was in fact a sale happening. Thankfully he told me that no, since the buyers will buy everything at once, they'd buy the the contracts with them, so that's good. But I kinda liked my my tenant and I'm gonna miss him if if it's sold or it's, it's not great. Also he came to make us visit uh, there were like five different people who came to, to visit, so five different visits at 15 to 30 minutes difference and it was in the middle of my night, <laughs> so it was tough. But I knew, I knew it was gonna happen, so I'm not mad, it's okay. And since it's uh, Easter Friday, I wanted to do um, a Bermuda tradition, which is to fly a kite. So that's why I flew a, a bought a cat kite from the thrift store about eleven months ago. I really had the idea right after not spending my my Easter way the way I wanted to. Um, so yeah, I I assembled it. It's uh, there's a reason why it only cost me thirty three bucks, but. It still flies, it's not perfect, it's a little old, there is holes, it's it's not great, but it fl it flied, fled, um, which is great. There was not a lot of wind, because I'm not in a very windy place, but it still flied, so not very high, but I think if I went to the beach, it would have flied properly and I think I did handle it properly too uh, like it's, it's not perfect but I'm learning so I think if I want to keep the tradition which it's possible because it's fun flying kites it's it's fun I should go to the beach if I want to have the proper wind to fly that so maybe next year I will fly a kite at the beach, but for now I still did and I still fly the kite and it still worked. So even if it didn't fly very high, I'm still gonna get in the wind and I'm still cutting it as me finishing and and not finishing but accomplishing a goal uh, in 2022 and at that point I'm gonna take it. So it was something I wanted to do on Easter and I did. And the other thing I wanted to do on Easter, so I, this year I'm not baking or making anything. I just wasn't in the mood to make chocolates at all. So I bought some either <laughs> instead and I uh, bought a lot of them. I ate a lot of them in the last two weeks. But it's okay, it's 
it's easter i always eat a lot of chocolate in easter and i digged up my old not old uh, my my eggs from last year and they're really pretty and i love them and i missed them and it took me forever to find them again <laughs> to be honest Look how pretty they are. I'm really happy with them. I think I'm really proud of them. So yeah. Especially the golden one. And so the other goal of Easter for me was to make a Fabergé, Fabergé style egg. Um, but like not, not small. An, an actual big one. And so yesterday I was feeling so much like shit. I was like, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> so I'm, I'm gonna have to make this with that. I don't have the proper eggs to use a base. And I checked on the history of the Fabergé, Fabergé eggs. And apparently it did not use eggs as a base. It did it all out of ceramic. Which is good to me. And since I'm feeling a little better today, and I did manage to fly the kite, so I'm, I'm, I'm on my way. I still have three days of Easter left because Jesus died, but he did not come back yet. And I honestly don't have anything better to do this weekend. I will try to make the egg this weekend. I give myself three days to do it as best as I can. And I can do it right now because um, I ran out of I don't have enough foil. I want to make, I want to make foil, foil base so I can build up polymer clay on top and sculpt it to look like I want. Paint it with ceramic um, paint like this one. Bake it properly to set everything. Add the details with varnish and paint and other stuff. Add some strass, add some inge, so I can use it to. Because I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have the egg cut there, in the same style as yours, and I'm gonna have an inch so I can separate those both, and use it as a box, and I'm gonna have little fits made of clay and painted uh, silver, I think, if I can't. So yeah, that's kind of the idea. And I think that's gonna look super cool, but I have not done it yet. And then and stress everywhere, like like that, because stress make everything look so much more expensive. So I'm gonna have something that look like Fabergé egg and cost me around twenty bucks max, when is cost about twenty million piece. <laughs> so yes, and hopefully it's gonna turn cool. I'm looking forward to that. It's gonna go. Cool. Uh, so I have a live stream tomorrow. I have Christine McAdam making a live stream. So it's just gonna this just gonna decorate some Easter eggs, but she's not gonna do the same way as I do. So yeah, she's gonna decorate some little plastic eggs, which is just sad <laughs> to be honest. So I'm glad I'm gonna do something a little better, a little you know more involved. And interesting than that. Uh, I have to paint the globe next week because Earth Day is on, is on Friday, next Friday. And I need to find somewhere to take the picture of it. So there's that too. And on Sunday, because my courtyard is just limited. I only have 20 meters in range maximum for my bow to shoot. Which is good because 20 meters is pretty good for me. It's a comfortable distance. But if I want to do bigger distance, uh, that's just not gonna be able to do that there. But I live right next to a mall. And on Sunday... <laughs> On Sundays, uh, maybe not on Easter Sunday. I'm gonna check um, if it's if it's open on Sunday, this Sunday. But usually, it's pretty empty. 
and the parking's were empty and I think if I just go there and set up my target there I can just get 30-50 meters with no problem because nobody's gonna be there to care and also I have to to wash one of my cushions and uh, its protection because Angel here peed on it yeah I know you look cute and all but you still peed on my cushion again it's too big for my machine so I'm gonna have to pay 10 bucks uh, to, to wash it and enjoy it there which is great so yeah I'm gonna pl I'm planning to do that someday hopefully uh, it works out and I'm not gonna be arrested by more security I don't think they would but you never know so I'm planning on doing both because uh, the laundromat is right next to a place where I know there wouldn't be no cars so hopefully it's gonna be fun And yeah, uh, to to take my decision about the machine, I am considering um, calling my psychiatrist. Because the two friends I asked were like, yeah, maybe you should talk to your psychiatrist about it. I'm like, you're right, but I don't like it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to take that decision on the 26th and uh, yeah. I think I know, I think right now I want to stop the machine but it does help and if I stop now I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna ruin the six months of effort I've done and if I change my mind later I'm gonna have to start from scratch again and I'm gonna have to buy the machine to start from scratch for six months again and uh, that's a lot of work but it's not a good argument to say um, I'm, I'm gonna do it just because else I would well, have wasted my time. It's not a good argument to continue doing something. If I stop now, I will stop wasting my time, which is already something good. I don't know. I don't think I remember not being in pain. I don't think I remember the, the painless situation good enough to risk going back at it. I don't remember it enough, but you know what? I'm still in pain. The machine helps while it's on, but the pain always comes back. It's not its not a cure. It's just something to soften the edge. And it's a lot of work for something just to soften the edge with no actual long-term benefits of it. And I'm still gonna have to keep up with the seven hours a day being very diligent about it for the rest of my life if I decide to do this and I don't know if I'm ready for that especially since I'm still in pain I'm still having a lot of things taking a lot of mental space and I have a lot of meds I'm either allergic to or that do not work anymore on me or I just wanted to stop I've even more meds than ever. Um, I have a machine all the time. I'm just tired of of all those medicines that just don't work. I'm still miserable. I'm still miserable. I'm still bipolar, and I'm still all of my mental symptoms and everything is still there and will not go away. So why should I bother with some things that just... I hate them so much. <laughs> I hate the meds, I hate the machine. Why do I bother if, if I'm still in pain? The whole point was to stop being in pain. I'm still in pain. So right now what I want is to stop it, so... But I'm still upset. I'm still in the middle of my big meltdown, so I'm gonna take a couple weeks to think of about it. But yeah, once I see the pain nurse, I'm gonna have to take a decision, and I think the decision is I'm not gonna pay for the machine. So yeah, that's looking a little gloom, and hopefully, 
hopefully next week when I do the vlog I'm gonna be very proud of showing you my little feather egg which can look awesome so yeah and hopefully the first of the collection because I think it's something that I want to do once a year because I think it's super cool and I've already ideas to make still in the Fabergé style but my own style too you know and all very detailed all very jewel like but I'm very excited about that so I really want to do it and uh, it's first year that I'm gonna do it so yeah See you next week with hopefully a lot of accomplishments to show up for. You're snoring, Angel. Yeah, of course you are. You have your paw on top of your, of your nose. Wow. She doesn't show on camera. Why did I take a black cat? She doesn't photograph well at all. There is a paw there on top of her nose. So she's snoring. I love you.